Well, hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about my top three performance modifications that you can do to the Mark 7 GTI. These modifications in, like significantly enhance the way your GTI will drive. Um, now, I'm obviously gonna leave some things out. This is just based on my opinion. Uh, there's so many different ways to go. I'm gonna just say now, I am leaving out suspension components. Uh, really not focus on handling components for this type of video um, I don't because I just don't really have them <laughs> so I can't really review them because I don't have them and there's a lot of potential if you do things like that and I, I'd love to at some point but for now I don't have them on the car I can't really include them in this video however they are obviously really good contenders and I'm sure whoever is, would make a video like this they would mention suspension or um, any kind of handling modification my list consists of modifications that um, that are on the car currently, how, aside from one, and I know it's three, which leaves out two that I actually have on the car and then one I don't. Um, but for the most part, uh, you know, I have some knowledge and some, some experience and some expertise um, in some of the stuff that I'm about to say. So, um, and you guys can probably agree with me on a lot of uh, the things that I'll say, but anyway. The first performance modification that you absolutely need to get for your Mark 7 GTI is absolutely a dog bone mount insert. Uh, these will greatly improve the way your car launches from stops and it'll, it'll improve just overall drivability. You'll kind of have more engagement with the car. You'll be able to feel when the car is shifting, when there's a lot of stress on the clutch. I mentioned this before in a video. I think it was uh, one of the best mods for under $50, which in my opinion, it still absolutely is one of the best modifications that also you can do it yourself as long as you have a lift or a way to get under the vehicle safely. Um, uh, I absolutely recommend it. It's, it's a great way to go about things. And uh, I, ju I just seriously recommend it. It's super cheap and super, super easy to do. And you get the, the potential and the benefit is just so, so great. So I highly recommend it. Definitely look into it if you guys don't already have it. The next modification that I want to talk about is an ECU TCU tune. This isn't specific to any brand or any tuning company. Um, I'm just saying that generically. And when I say TCU, that's mostly me targeting most of the DSG cars, which myself included. I have the ECU and I have the TCU tune. And uh, my com the company that I went with is APR. And I have the Stage 2 software with the, uh, obviously the TCU Stage 1 tune, I think. I think there's only one way to get the TCU tune for APR. And I have it. So um, the car is pretty much all set up bug. So now I've finally set up this car in a way that I'm not super worried about the clutch. I can finally drive it and daily drive it um, without me really being annoyed with the way it drives. Um, I will say before I got the TCU, I was running just the ECU Stage 2 software and it was bogging a lot. The clutch, it just, it just really wasn't going harmoniously. I just didn't really like it. So uh, um, now of course I have both tunes, the ECU and the TCU, and they go hand in hand. Of course, if you guys have a manual car, you don't need to get the TCU tune, obviously. In fact, you cannot. Uh, however, I do recommend looking into a clutch. Uh, some YouTubers, like Medic Magic, can prove you wrong, and you guys absolutely could potentially, depending on the clutch life, you could totally run a uh, stock clutch with Stage 2 software. It's, it's been done before. Check out Medic Magic uh, if you guys want to learn more on that. Um, he also has the same tune, it's just uh, his car is a standard and this one's a DSG, so very cool side by side, um, seeing what uh, how both cars perform, because uh, you know it's a little bit different, it's, it, there is there is you know a bit of a difference between both cars and how they perform. The final modification that you absolutely need for the GTI is a front mount intercooler, and like I said, I don't know how different each and every one of the brands are, uh, of course the APR makes one. If I were to go that route, probably would get the APR one. Uh, but regardless, whatever brand you get, you're still gonna see a great performance benefit and you're gonna be able to do consistent pulls without power loss. In the beginning of this video, I talked about how I wasn't gonna mention anything that I didn't have on the car. Now, this seems a little bit, you know, you know this makes me seem like a hypocrite, but for the most part, I still wanna mention this because there's a lot of truth behind it and there's a lot of performance gain and for the best, for the most part, it's really good for your car. I mean, it's uh, if you're going to be running a lot of power through whatever tune you have, uh, really look into it because it's super beneficial for the car. And performance-wise, it's uh, it's it's it'll keep your power very consistent uh, for whenever you want to use it. But uh, 
anyway. So um, the intercooler is not necessarily for the gains, it's more so for the um, consistent power. Guys, this thing's fast. It's still fast. Like I've driven Hellcats, I, you know, supercars galore. Not really, but I've driven a couple supercars. <laughs> see the POV drives of this me driving other cars this thing is fast and APR software in my opinion is awesome it's really really good I love this car but anyway thank you guys so much for watching